Whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody, welcome back. And tonight we're imaging two different deep sky objects, the Whirlpool Galaxy and the North American Nebula. When I get back from work, I'm gonna point the telescope at the Whirlpool Galaxy, get a couple more hours on that object, and at around 1 a.m., the Milky Way is high enough to start imaging the North American Nebula region. Super excited for tonight. I'm gonna stay up outside all night and enjoy the first Milky Way rise of the season with my own eyes, and hopefully it'll be a great night of astrophotography. Can't wait to use this setup on some of these large nebula regions of the Milky Way. So. Join me in tonight for this great night of astrophotography. My name's Trevor, and you're watching Astro Pilot. So the pretty cool thing about tonight is I'm imaging two deep sky objects, one galaxy 20 million light years away, and then a summertime Milky Way object that rises at around 1 a.m., the North American Nebula. The crazy thing is, it was this time last year when I was just getting into the hobby and I was using a stock DSLR and a clockwork tracker and a uh, 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. So huge equipment improvement this time around for this Milky Way season. Um, super excited for all these objects that are coming out soon uh, in the core of the Milky Way and the surrounding areas. So we're going to put this rig to the test tonight on the North American Nebula and the Whirlpool Galaxy. Planning on shooting uh, three minute exposures at ISO 800 on both objects and looking to get at least two more hours on the Whirlpool Galaxy and around three hopefully on the North American Nebula. Hopefully it will all go well. I will see you guys when I get back from work at around 11 and we will start shooting the Whirlpool Galaxy. Catch you in a bit. Alright guys, so it is 10.40 p.m. right now. I just got back home from work. The moon, it's about a half moon uh, probably around 45 to 50 degrees up in the sky right now setting in the west that should be not a problem it shouldn't be a problem for the targets we're shooting tonight that's a really big jet but it's time to uncover the telescope get everything up and running and uh, we can start shooting the Whirlpool Galaxy so we're focusing the camera on the bright star of Vega Vega is back for the year it's rising in the east northeastern sky right now and it's a perfect bright star to focus the camera on so we got the batten off mask on and we'll get those diffraction spikes i'll turn the iso up to 1600 turn the screen brightness up There we go, we got those diffraction spikes, and that looks like it's in focus to me, so we'll lock it down. And the camera is focused, and we're ready to polar align. I like to focus first before I polar align, just because I'm... Uh, messing with the balance and stuff slightly while focusing so I just uh, focus before I polar align just where I'm not messing with the mount any uh, more than I have to. So I just did a precise polar alignment in sharp cap with the Star Adventure. Now it's time to find the Whirlpool Galaxy with the uh, red dot finder and camera. I'm gonna break my back uh, trying to frame it up like this because I don't want to frame it up the other way because I don't want to have to flip, do a meridian flip. So I'm going to see if I can get it framed up by aiming back that way just a tad, which I think I'll be able to do. It's because it's high enough right now, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and point it 
in the direction I know where to point the red dot finder, so should be might be doable. All right, guys, here comes the one of the first frames on the Whirlpool Galaxy. These are two colliding galaxies located around 20 million light years away. It's a spiral galaxy just like the Milky Way colliding with a smaller galaxy probably going on for billions of years alright here it comes three two one there it is the whirlpool galaxy so we're up and running on the whirlpool galaxy shooting three minute subs at ISO 800 it is 1115 and I'm gonna shoot this target for about uh, two hours so almost till one o'clock and then we're going to start shooting the North American Nebula. So the plan is tonight, uh, I'm going to stay up until around 4 a.m. because I want to see the Milky Way rise. Um, this is the first uh, Milky Way rise of the season for me. Um, so super excited to start shooting some of these Milky Way targets like the North American Nebula. So uh, stay tuned throughout the video and we're going to shoot the first Milky Way target of the season. Am I disturbing you? Yeah. Alright guys, so I just pointed the camera towards the North American Nebula region over near this big star, Deneb. It's about 1.40 in the morning and I'm going to start shooting on it. Uh, I've got about two hours on the Whirlpool Galaxy already, so it's time to get the first shots of the North American Nebula of the year. Can't wait for this. Let's go ahead and get it framed up and start shooting again. All right guys, here comes the first frame of the North American Nebula. Cannot, I'm so excited about this picture. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. I've never done this long of exposure on it ever. Only 20 more seconds. It is 1.40 in the morning right now, and this first frame is about to come in. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I've never gotten this much signal before in a nebula, besides the Orion Nebula. Oh my gosh, look at all that nebulosity. This is awesome. Alright guys, so I'm all up and running on the North American Nebula. It's awesome, awesome to see this target again. I've been excited to image this thing for a while now. Super excited for all these uh, targets coming out in the Milky Way this time of year now. So, I'm going to get about three hours on the North American Nebula. Still amazing to see all that nebulosity in that picture. Um, first time using the uh, light pollution filter and everything and the dithering functions on, um, on this object. So, can't wait to see the final image of this and the Whirlpool Galaxy. So. It's, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning now, so I'm going to keep on shooting until about 4, 4.30 or so, and come back out and take darks and uh, call it a night. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to the end to see the final images of both these objects. Um, thank you all for all the support and uh, subscribers and views and comments. As always, thank you for watching Astro Pilot, and until next time, Clear skies.